Welcome to Lesson 6, Exploring Faces and Edges of Objects. Here, of course, we are looking at a cube. Let's review a few terms. Any flat side of a, a three-dimensional object, such as a cube, is called a face. We remember that a cube has six faces. Where two faces meet, we call that an edge. So this red line here is an edge because it is the place where this green face meets this side face here. Where two or more edges meet, we have what we call a vertex. Actually, it's where three or more edges meet that we call a vertex. So here we have one, two, three edges meeting at a point that we call a vertex. So those are some terms that we need to know about three-dimensional objects. Faces, edges, and vertices. When two lines or two edges meet, we say that they intersect. Where a horizontal line intersects with a vertical line, they form a right angle. So we say that these two lines are perpendicular to one another, and this right angle is shown with this little square in the corner. Perpendicular lines or edges are very common. We see them just about everywhere. Anywhere where we have squares or rectangles such as doors or windows or tiles on the floor and the ceiling, those are all perpendicular lines. Here we have a picture of a room. Where these two walls meet, they form a 90 degree angle with one another and so we say these two walls are perpendicular. Where a wall meets the floor, they also form a 90 degree angle because the floor is perfectly horizontal, it's flat, while the wall is vertical, straight up and down, and so we say the floor and the wall are perpendicular to one another as well. These two three-dimensional objects that we are looking at are called prisms. On the left we have a triangular prism, while on the right we have a rectangular prism. Prisms are named by their bases, and bases are just uh, special faces. In a prism, you know it's a base if it has an opposite that is parallel to, to it, and it is the same shape and size. So here we have two triangles that are parallel that are the same shape and size. And this rectangular one, we have two rectangles here that are the same shape and size, and they are parallel and opposite of each other. So that's how we know this is a triangular prism and a rectangular prism here on the right. Imagine that this triangular prism is sitting flat on a table. It's sitting on this face here. So that would mean this rectangular face is horizontal, and these triangular faces would be perfectly vertical. So we could say that the triangular face is perpendicular to this rectangular face. Let's imagine this rectangular prism is sitting flat on a table on its base, on this purple base right here. So then this purple base would be perfectly horizontal, and the four white or clear rectangles on the side are all perfectly vertical, making them perpendicular to the bases. They're also perpendicular to this top base up here as well. You may recognize this three-dimensional object as a pyramid. A pyramid is similar to a prism, but it only has one base. So generally this, the face that it's sitting on is its base. So this is called a rectangular pyramid because its base is a rectangle. 
However, a pyramid does not have an opposite base. Instead, the triangular faces on the side come together at a point which is also known as a vertex. So here we have edges. There are eight edges on the pyramid, on this rectangular pyramid. And we also have five vertices. We have four here around the base and we have one vertex up here at the top. Not all pyramids have a rectangular base. This pyramid at the top has a triangular base. This is the shape of its base down here. So it's called a triangular pyramid. This pyramid here has a square as a base. So it is called a square-based pyramid. And this pyramid here has a pentagon as a base, five-sided shape. So it's called a pentagonal pyramid. But what all pyramids have in common is that they have triangular faces on the side and their triangular faces all meet at a point at the top that we call an, a an apex or a vertex. Here we have some three-dimensional objects that we looked at in this lesson. Even though they look different and have different names, they have some things in common. They all have faces. A face is a flat side of a three-dimensional object. They also all have edges. An edge is formed where two faces meet. So here's an example of an edge. And finally, they also all have vertices. A vertex is a point where three or more edges meet. So here are some examples of vertices. We name a prism by its bases. So a prism has two bases that are parallel to each other and opposite of each other, and they you know they are bases because they are the same size and shape. So here we have a triangular uh, prism. A pyramid is named after its base, and the base on the pyramid is the face that it sits on. And here we have a rectangular pyramid because we have a rectangular base. And of course, this is a cube because it has six faces that are squares. So thank you for watching. Please review if you need to. Ask your teacher for help. And have fun with your math.